Hey everyone, I was already excited today because we have got a mail unboxing video. It's not any old mail, don't you worry, I haven't got my bills or anything boring like that. We have got Polly Pocket mail and vintage Polly Pockets at that. Um, so I love vintage Polly Pockets, I've been collecting them since sort of last year time. Um, and I just absolutely adore them. Um, the best place to get them now is obviously like eBay, stuff like that. Um, usually second hand, like you can't really find like brand new ones because they're quite old and the brand new ones, if they have them, they cost so much more. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I got some off eBay. So I've got a few packages here to open today, which I'm so excited about. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be opening on camera, showing you what sets I got. Um, I can't really even remember which ones I got. I didn't even get them that long ago, but I've just sort of had them sat for, you know, a few days while I've done videos of other stuff. But today is a day where I can't wait any longer and we've got to get these open. So, let's start with this little one here. It sounds a bit rattly, so it sounds like there's like some figures loose. So, I'm thinking it's going to be one of the house ones. So, let's open this up. Yeah, absolutely adore all the Polly Pockets. I also collect like the Shopkins Little Secrets. If you uh, watch my previous videos, I did a video on those. Um, and I want to do like full collection videos as well at some point, like when I've got them all like properly organised and stuff. Sorry if it's a little bit noisy, I've got the window open, so I'm going to have a little bit of traffic noises. Wow, they did a good job of wrapping this. Oh my god. So I'm just. The main thing I'm hoping is that, you know, nothing's like broken or anything like that because mail can be a little bit unpredictable sometimes. I'm not really getting anywhere with this, oh my god. Just like pass the parcel. <laughs> bag it literally is like past the parcel <laughs> let's get rid of that one it's gonna be a lot of packaging when we're done with this video oh i'm so excited i can't honestly i can't remember what ones i got i think i forget all the names as well because there's so many different ones but just lately i've been really into the house ones so the ones that you know literally are a little house that opens up i love the compacts as well but i like the idea of like a house and like lining them all up to have like a little street and I have got quite a few already. I'd probably say I have around 20 already that I've picked up, you know, like I said, over the last year. There's an alarm. Um, but yeah, okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love it. Okay, God, it's all like bag inside a bag inside a bag. But if it does the trick, you don't always need bubble wrap, I guess. So let's just take this out of the plastic. And let's have a little look. So I want to say this is called Bay Window House. Do correct me if you know and if I'm wrong or whatever. But as far as I can remember, this one was the Bay Window House. So obviously these are straight from the cellar, so they're a bit dirty or, any or anything. They might not have been cleaned yet. I'm um, not too sure if the light works. We'll have to see about that. But yeah, then the good thing with this is it has got the tree. I noticed a lot of these sets, they were missing the tree. So if you are looking for this one, just make sure it has the tree because a lot of them snap off. Unless you're, you know, maybe not worried about that, but personally I like them, you know, in good condition as I can get them. A little cat on the back. So that's really cute at the front. It does look all good condition. Probably just needs a little bit of a clean. And let's have a little look inside. So we'll have a look at the figures. So it looks like we've got a few here. So let me wiggle these out. Cool, so this is obviously my first time seeing this in person as well. So let's have a little look. So it looks like this. So let's start with the upstairs. So it looks like we have like a little dressing room on the side here and this little door, like a mirror, also opens up into a little wardrobe. That's so cute. And close that again. And then over this side, what have we got? Um, I don't really know what that is actually. Like a sort of sitting room by the looks of it. It's a little light section there, so it doesn't seem like the light actually works. But I reckon a battery change and you never know, it might be alright. There's a little TV there. That's so cute. And it looks like there's a little floor here. I don't know if that moves or it's just somewhere they can stand. Sometimes you can get the rotating floors, but I think that one's just where they can stand. Some little yellow steps coming down to the, the downstairs lower level. And I really like this feature of the door, so everything's sort of separated into little different rooms. So you have a tiny little bathroom section here, and this little door does actually open. It's a tad stiff. 
there we go. We've obviously got a little toilet and a sink there. And then we've got our main like little seating area here. It looks like almost like a little buffet. So they've got like different like foods and sandwiches here, a little chair there. And then on the other side we have a white door oh, and a little kitchen. I find the best angle to show that. So that's really cute. Apologies again, I apologise every video, but I haven't got a proper camera, I'm just using my phone, so the focus is going to be a bit naff, but hopefully this will just give you an idea. So that's really cute, I like the details of the kitchen, you can literally see like a little, like pots and pans in the back and stuff like that. Cool, so that's really sweet, so I love that one, that's really nice. So yeah, it looks like there's one thing there, something over here that lights up. Um, so I definitely have to check out with the batteries and stuff, but yeah, that one looks pretty good condition. Obviously, you've got to bear in mind with age, you're not going to get anything perfect unless you literally buy, you know, something like brand new in box and they're like hundreds of pounds. So, but if you have the money to spend it and you want to get one, I'd go for it if that's your thing. So let's see what the figures we got here. So I'm not sure which ones come the original. So I think actually this has the four original figures, but I remember some of them had some damage. But I was happy with like just getting a couple and then, you know, um, dealing with the damaged ones or like getting replacements. So here are our figures. So I'm pretty sure these are the four original ones. So we've got this little woman here. And she's holding up some balloons. It's sort of like a party style house, isn't it? Because of the lights and like with the buffet. So we've got her. We've got this one here. And she's not got broken arms or anything. So that's good. Little Polly. Uh, we've got this one here. I'm not sure of the name off my top of my off the top of my head. Um, but she looks pretty good condition as well. I need to get like some paint and stuff as well, and like repaint like their faces and stuff because I am quite artistic and I'm good with like details and stuff. So I, I could like with the right type of paint. This one is sadly have both arms missing, but I'd definitely like to replace her. And then it also came with this little baby, and this isn't with the original set, but. You can't really complain extra characters, these are always good, although he is missing a little hand, which is a shame. So that's pretty good, so we've got two figures there which are like good condition, um, and then obviously the actual set is perfect, so yeah, I really love that one. Right, let's move on because we have got a few more to get through, so I don't want this video to be like 10 hours long. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at these ones next, so these just came in this padded envelope here. Nice bubble wrap. So this is, I got two off this seller. He did me a little deal for both. Okay, so it's another house, I'm thinking. Oh, it's so hot lately, oh my God. It's boiling. I can't complain though. Like we haven't had much of a summer in England, so to actually get some heat now and later in the year, shouldn't really complain about it. Okay. So, oh, cute. So this one's also been put in a little plastic Ziploc bag. So let's open it up. Now my mind's completely gone blank. What is this one called? It's something like the dress shop or something like that. I want to say. So this is really nice. So we've got a little turning mechanism here, which has a little slide indoors. Oh, I love that, That's so cool. Okay, and then it completely opens up here. Oh, wow. So I wanna say it comes with the two original figures. So let's have a little look at these first. These both look really good condition. Face is painted, the little Polly. And here is her friend. Oh, I think the blonde one was called Tina, actually. That's just come to me. I'm not sure what this one's called, though. She's like a red-haired Tina. So they look really cool. And then the actual little set here. So at the top, we can see that's where we had our little swiveling door. And it looks like... Oh, it's like a little cafe. It's got like a little cafe sign. So we've got a little section here, a couple of seats, and a little like floor pattern or mat. That's really cool because that reminds me of Tangled. If any of you have seen the Disney Tangled film, you'll know what I mean. That's so cool. Um, it is missing some hats. So normally you'd have like two little hat accessories. But it looks like we have got a little dress. So a little dress that fits on this stand here, which is pretty cool. Um, and then possibly another one like can be hung up there. But these are little bits and pieces that you know you can just pick them up sometimes and 
it's so hard to get complete sets now and generally the complete ones are a lot more expensive um, this is really cool so you've got like a little changing room with a mirror inside that's so sweet I'm trying to figure out if the curtain opens but I don't think it actually does that would have been a cool feature if they made like it so you could like swivel the curtain open I don't think it does that um, and then these plants swivel, I don't know if they're meant to do that. And there's a little bench on the outside, so I really love that one, that's so cute. And I, I like that it comes with just the one dress, I think that's nice. Well, technically two, because there's a second one there as well. Awesome, so yeah, I think this is really sweet. I love that one as well. Okay, let's move along. Definitely need to clean, they feel dusty. And do you know what I mean? It might not even be like old dust. Like I left some of mine out, like before I um, displayed them on, put them like, Backed white in a nice like setup. I just had them like in a bag all together, and the amount of dust. Like, I cleaned them when I got them, and then I kept them like somewhere just for like a couple of months. And the amount of dust when I actually like um, got round to like cleaning them again, just from like like modern dust that we can call it. So just dust all the time. Okay, we have this one. Does anybody know what this one is? Anybody want to take a guess? You know you're a true Polly Pocket fan when you know what it is just from the outside of the compact. You're like, yep, it's that one. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. <gasps> Love it. So cool. So let me grab these out. Wedged in there, them now. Ta-da! It's a birthday surprise. So this is so cool. I'm really glad I got this one because I actually recently got the 30th anniversary. So I have to do a video about that, but I haven't unboxed it or anything and I kind of just want to keep it in the box. But it's so nice to have the original vintage one now as well. So that's so cool. So we've got a little bathroom and a bedroom in the top, a little disco sort of area. This spins so we can have a little dance. Um, some banners, it's like a little buffet little table area working door oh yeah and with these i'd always recommend checking uh, if you you know you want them perfect condition checking that your doors are suitable and also this the lid is sometimes like missing off the little present i think it is quite fragile it does feel a bit wobbly and i got the teddy bear with it as well yay oh, let's get that out my nails are getting quite long it's our little teddy bear that's so cute so he's the present I don't know if this is meant to like play music or something. Huh, I don't know if that was meant to be a button on the table. I'll have to research these and see if there's like features I'm missing, but it's got like the dots in there, like it's gonna like play music. I can't remember if that's meant to do that. And that looks like a button, but who knows? So yeah, so this one um, came with the bear, which is an original one. And it's also meant to come with, I think one poly doll and then like a little tutu. Didn't get those, but it did come with these. And I remember this is part of the reason why I bought it now. Do you recognize these? Because <laughs> these are literally the ones from the last set. So from that bay window house, we had these two. Both sadly had arms broken off. But then I got them here and they look in really good condition. Could do with a slight repaint. But they've both got arms and all that stuff. So that's really good and all that stuff. <laughs> So now I basically have a complete bay window set. And I'm glad I got the teddy bear with this one and then I can just, you know, look out for the poly. That tutu, like, I don't know if anybody has the one with the tutu because that seems like long gone. Right, um, so that was from that one. So we're down to the last one. I will laugh if I open this and it's like not even a poly pocket. That would be a bit awkward. There's still going to be another toy, whatever it is, because that's like the only thing I buy online. So we'll have to see. All right, let's get the box open. So warm. Okay. Okay, let's have a look. Da, da, da. Can you see anything yet? Ooh. Is there like a thing to like? Does everybody put these in Ziploc bags or? I just find it weird how they all came in like little plastic bags. I don't know if that's just me being weird. I suppose it will protect them though. So that was everything in there. So it smells really sweet. So this was a really lucky find I got. I think I got this one for like under £10, which is such a good deal. Like sometimes you've just got to look at like random times where you just spot one. 
So, again, for the life of me, I can't remember what this one is called. Please let me know down in the comments if you do know. I did know at some point, but I've got the worst memory ever. So, how do we open this? Um, so, this is a really different type of compact. I think this one can go for quite a lot. Okay, looks like there's a little latch there. Oh my god, how am I going to open this? Might have to end the video here, guys. I don't know how to open it. Oh, that sort of clipped that side, but those are... That's unclipped there. And then if we try and unclip this side... Oh, hang on, we're getting somewhere. Damn, this has been wedged in good. Okay. And then the bottom bit. Oh, here we go. Awesome. <gasps> Look how colourful it is. Let's fully unfold it. So here we go. It's kind of a hard one to show. So let's start off over here. So it looks like, wow. So we have some sort of like thrown sort of section and like this little, I don't really know what that is, but it's a bit squeaky, but it sort of can go when like the doll sat down. This is like quite regal. And then this like little, middle section which kind of looks like a marquee and we've got this bit that spins I suppose it could almost be like they're walking around which is pretty cool it's a cute like little cog mechanism almost and then on this side it looks like we do have a doll she has been completely wedged in let me try to wiggle her out oh there she is right let's have a look at this bit first so over here we have the bedroom oh that's my water bottle um, that's so cute, and then a little dining room at the bottom. It's so sweet. So I love this one. That's so cool, just the way it opens up. And it's really cool when it's put together. Although it's really hard to open. I don't know if there's a particular way to do it. I suppose it just kind of, oh, clips at the bottom, and then it clips twice at the top. So here's the character we got with it. So I'm pretty sure this is an original one. And I think there's one more that's meant to come with it. But I'm so glad we got this one. Like I said, I literally got it for like, I think it was under £10. So I got it for such a bargain because I think the complete ones go for like 50 or something mad. So, you know, I was like one figure, that's fine. And then I will, like I said, I'll look out for the other ones. But I like them to have like at least, you know, ne be near complete. I don't always mind fully complete because the fully complete ones can be so expensive. So that's cool. So I've just sort of put her in there that's so sweet awesome okay we'll end that video up here because it is um it's become a bit long now um i think the opening the boxes takes long enough but yeah i'm really happy with all of these they're so cute i just need to give them a little clean and polish them up um and then i will eventually be doing a like a full collection video or collection so far because i will be obviously getting more at some point but i would love to just show the ones i've got so far in like a little like collection video yeah, so uh, thanks so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And let me know if you can think of the names of some of these that I couldn't remember. I'm sure that's like the dress shop or something. This one has completely escaped me. I can't think what this is called for the life of me. Like palace something? You have to let me know if you do know. And let me know if you actually collect any yourself. Well, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.